if you're looking for an ultra compact pickup truck kind of inspired by the 90s, well, Ford might just have the answer for you. The Ford Maverick was unveiled today and it is indeed one of the smallest pickup trucks on the market. Starting at just a hair under $20,000, the Maverick is kind of an echo of the pickup trucks from the past like the mid-1990s Toyota Tacoma or maybe the Subaru Brat. Okay, maybe not that small. The Maverick is based on the same platform as the Ford Bronco and the Ford Escape, which means it's front-wheel drive based. In this video, let's take a look at how the Maverick stacks up against the Ford F-150 and the Ford Ranger. First off, Ford says the Maverick is the most efficient truck on the market with an EPA estimate of 40 miles per gallon. Now we're gonna have to wait for the final figures when it goes on sale in the fall, but the range is estimated at 500 miles. Not bad for a single tank. And it comes with two different engine choices. That's it for right now, standard, is a 2.5 liter hybrid making 191 horsepower combined with the electric motor and 155 pound-feet of torque. And by the way, the motor is designed in-house. Or if that's not enough grunt, you can upgrade to the 2 liter EcoBoost engine with 250 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. It is indeed a punchy little engine and it's got a lot of torque in the Bronco Sport. Front wheel drive is standard, but you can get it with available all wheel drive. And that means you need to upgrade to the EcoBoost 2 liter engine and add $3,000. Let's look at the size of the Maverick versus the F-150 and the Ranger. The transmission is either a CVT with the hybrid or an eight speed auto with the two liter. Sorry, manual enthusiasts. Let's compare the Maverick against the F-150 and the Ford Ranger. So you can see that the length of the Maverick is just about 200 inches. But if you look at the Ford F-150, it's 28 inches wider. It is way bigger. Let's compare the width, the Maverick 72.6 inches, the F-150 95.7 inches. That's 23.1 inches bigger. And if you look at the bed, the Maverick just comes with one bed size, which is four and a half feet. In the F-150, you can get 5.5, 6.5, or eight feet, which is a difference of one, two, or 3.5 feet. This is a way bigger truck. And if you look at the height, the Maverick is 68.7 inches. It's kind of car-like height, maybe a tall car, SUV. And the F-150 is 77 inches, so it's 8.3 inches taller. And the Ranger is somewhere in the middle, as you can see. So there's no question that the Ranger is definitely the smallest pickup truck in the Ford lineup. And the F-150 is much bigger. And then there is the F-250, the Super Duty, which is even bigger than that. And we need to look at towing capacity too. And let's see if the Maverick is a good choice for towing compared to the F-150 or maybe the Ranger. The Maverick does have a optional towing package. So it starts at 2,000 pounds. And if you get the optional package, it goes up to 4,000 pounds. Now the maximum payload you can put in the bed is 1,500 pounds. If you look at the F-150, the base towing is 5,000 pounds and the max towing is 14,000 pounds and you can put over 3,000 pounds in the bed. And the Ranger, once again, is somewhere in the middle but it has a significant upgrade in the base towing capacity and even the maximum towing capacity. So the Maverick is really designed for people who are gonna be towing something lighter and much more occasionally. You're probably not gonna be towing a car with this but, you know, maybe a sailboat, maybe something like some jet skis. We need to look at the price. This is where Ford is coming in with a very compelling offer. The Maverick starts at just a hair under $20,000 and the top trim, which is the first edition right now, is at $33,565. I should mention that the first edition is gonna be a one year only model run just for the first year, 2022. But the other top edition, which you'll probably be able to get after that is the Lariat. And that starts at $26,575. I tried to configure the Maverick online with as many options as I could possibly put on it. And it came out around $40,000, $42,000. That's about as high as you're going to get it. Now the Ranger, the base price is somewhere in the middle at $25,000. The top trim is the Lariat which is about 35,665. Again, that's where it starts at. And the F-150 starts at about, let's call it $29,000. And the top trim of the limit, it's over $70,000. So a very big wide difference in price ranges and capabilities. And Ford is really 
fleshing out their range of trucks that are going to be available in the very near future. In fact, the Maverick is going to be available this fall as a 2022 model. If you're going to be comparing the Maverick to other trucks in the market, I think we're looking at the Honda Ridgeline primarily and the Hyundai Santa Cruz, which the Hyundai Santa Cruz is a pretty new offering. Can't quite buy it yet. And these are both small trucks that are very competitive with the Maverick, but they're one but there is one difference and that is the towing capacity. Both the Ridgeline and the Santa Cruz can tow 5,000 pounds. Now there's no pricing on the Santa Cruz yet, but the Ridgeline, which has been out for quite a while, starts at $37,665. That's nearly double the price of the Maverick. So you can see that Ford is really coming in at the entry level point in the market at $20,000, which is incredibly competitive for any kind of pickup truck right now. I've reached out to Ford for a test sample of the Maverick and as soon as one is available, hopefully I'll be able to take it out and do a little testing. My name is Eric. If you like this video, please subscribe, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.